First at 530, a Westport couple dodging our questions outside court today after they were arraigned on animal cruelty charges. The pair was arrested after their dog was found wandering the streets in pretty bad shape. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now with more. New at 530. Well, the couple was allowed to leave with no bail, but they're not allowed to be around animals. The reasons were detailed very clearly in the court documents. All right. In court, Tom and Carrie Burke are charged with felony animal cruelty. This was their dog. We told you about her Friday when someone found her in Westport and brought her in for help. We've now learned her name is Bella. Covered in mats with infections and bladder stones, she'll be okay now after thousands of dollars in treatment at the Animal Rescue League. But they had to remove her eyes. They were too infected. Do you have any comment at all? Tom and Carrie answered none of my questions outside of court. Their attorney even refusing to tell me his name. Police say after they first gave us details about the dog, a tipster called in saying it was the Burks. When police went to their Westport home, records show they found three more dogs. Their nails grown far too long. They were in rough shape as well. Police questioned the pair. According to this report we obtained, the couple first denied owning Bella, but when they were threatened with a charge of misleading an officer, the report states both Tom and Carrie looked at each other, then stated that they owned Bella, telling the officer her, we would have put her down, adding that this is how she looked even before she got away. Carrie said in the report, we're not bad people. A veterinarian's report in the court documents note, all of the concerns noted would have been clear to any reasonable owner given their severity. The report adds Carrie's daughter will also be charged with misleading an officer and something else in the documents we saw. Two small children were in the home when police went to arrest Carrie. The officer said he smelled and saw marijuana in the home next to the children. So he filed a report with DCF as well. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.